Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, looking at another uh, stack related uh, interview question. And this one is uh, simplify a path. So basically, the, uh, the problem statement itself says that uh, you've been given an absolute path for a file. And this path is unique style. Unique style. And uh, basically, we need to simplify it. In other words, we need to convert it into canonical path. Okay, so it gives you like, you know, some idea about what Unix path uh, style file system looks like. For example, a period or a dot uh, refers to the current directory. So if you type your terminal and um, if you uh, just uh, press dot, that's actually your current directory. Now, if you have double period, that means double dots, uh, then you move one directory up, okay? And uh, so, and and uh, the question also states that you need to return a canonical path uh, that has to always start with a slash, okay, right here. And uh, there must only be a single slash between two directory names. So that means that there could be cases where you're going to see double slashes, uh, like, you know, typed. So you need to ignore those double slashes slash and you need to return a result so you're only representing a single slash okay and um, uh, basically the last directory name uh, if it exists it should not end with a trailing slash that's another condition that you need to follow so as you can see there are uh, several conditions so uh, what my recommendation would be to um, if you're like you know when you're preparing or when you're in the interview um, jot down all these conditions on one side of the whiteboard um, or if you're using quarter pad then uh, jot it down in your comment section that way you at least know what are the conditions that you're actually trying to uh, cover, okay? And uh, then you can go on and proceed about thinking how you're gonna solve this problem. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, and basically uh, try to solve uh, this problem on your own and see if you can come up with a, a potential algorithm. Uh, the hint here is that you can somehow use stack and combination of switch statement to actually solve this problem okay so let's go ahead and, and pause the video here and uh, come back uh, and see our solution hello and welcome back hope that went well so let's go ahead and, and take a look what we can do here so uh, like I said we are going to use uh, a uh, stack uh, here as well, and these are some of the uh, inputs uh, that we can that we're gonna test our uh, sample on. It covers various different uh, outcomes. For example, a directory ending with a slash, having just two dots in the directory, having two slashes, or having a whole bunch of nested hierarchy. So this is this needs to be simplified as A B C kind of like that, or C, um, and uh, basically. Um, simplifying this path, simplifying this path. So as you can see, we have like you know a variety of different um, inputs uh, that we're gonna try and test our um, test our example on. So let's go ahead and create our function first, and uh, we are going to expect a string to be supplied, and we're going to return a string as well. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create an ar ar array based stack, and this is going to be a string. Uh, type. Uh, next thing we can do, uh, in order to remove these extra slashes, we can simply uh, create a, an array of these uh, strings, uh, individual strings like home, foo, or a, b, c, and just um, uh, basically tokenize this so we can remove all these slashes. Okay, so we can say uh, token string is equal to basically just say str dot uh, split and uh, separator is going to be a slash, okay? Now we're gonna uh, basically use our for each, so for, for in, so for s in token string. And now we're gonna go over each individual item. So. What we need to do is we can actually put a switch statement here. Um, 
first statement here on S, and we can evaluate each individual case. So for these conditions, the string is going to be empty because it's been tokenized. So for empty string, we are simply going to ignore that. Okay, so we are simply going to skip that case. If there is a single dot case, that means it represents the current directory. So we don't need to do anything, uh, basically, uh, because it represents the current directory. So we're going to break that because that doesn't need to show up in the canonical path. So we're going to uh, break out of that uh, cycle as well and go on to the next one. Um, if there is a double dot, that's where we need, we need to um, move one directory up. So we are simply uh, going to say uh, tag.pop. Okay, so in Swift, you can do pop last and it actually returns something. Uh, it's an optional, so if there's nothing that doesn't return anything. Okay, and uh, then for the default case, for all the other cases, basically, we are simply going to append the item, the string, into the stack. Okay, this way our stack is populated with only relevant information. For example, if I, if I run this scenario, uh, the only thing that here, here there is is home. So we're only going to put home in, in the stack. In this case, uh, we are uh, going to try to go one level up, but there is no level. So that means this is going to be just a slash is going to return. For home, uh, it's going to be first home is going to be inserted. And then there is double slash, so this is going to be an empty string, so nothing is going to happen in this one. Then foo is going to get inserted, and uh, that's for it because it's been replaced here, right? So um, then you have home and foo, okay? So let's first construct our return string. So we can simply say it needs to start with forward slash, and then we can say plus stack dot joined. By separator a slash. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna get in return is basically going to be slash the relevant path slash if there is anything in the array. Okay, and uh, we need to because this is part of substring, so we need to actually convert this into a string. So let's fix that and uh, let's change this to let. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, home is being printed as slash home uh, because path needs to start from home. Uh, where there is like, you know, an empty is just going, it's going from root to root. Uh, there's nowhere else to go. So it's just going to return slash for home slash slash foo slash slash is going to be ignored and home slash foo is going to return. For ABC, if you look at this path, uh, basically it's only going to be C that's going to return, right? Um, so if you walk into the scenario, you're going to say uh, you insert you insert A in the stack, and then you have dot, so you, there's no op, and then you insert B in the uh, in the stack, and then you actually um, go pop out, so B goes out of the stack and then another uh, parent level directory so you are at a, a right now so it pops out and you only have a now okay uh, so sorry a is also removed so you have nothing you're at the root level and then you go to the c directory right so the only option uh, only uh, directory that actually is going to get returned is c because that's the directory that you are actually currently in if you look at this this uh, other one, it's going to follow the same route, and it's only going to return C. So go ahead and walk through that. And uh, if you look at this one, you're going to get A, B, C. Okay, so um, I want you to actually take a moment, understand, and go through the algorithm one more time. So what we are, what we are doing here is we are first creating a stack. We are tokenizing our string, okay, just to remove all these all these slashes and extra slashes. That's our second approach. Our third approach is to basically take individual tokenized string and basically look at the logic that's been given to us. So all the logics that's been given to us are um, the empty string is no op, uh, right? 
that is single dot that represents the current directory, so it's a no op. Double dot is basically a pop operation because uh, you need to go one directory, one parent directory up, right? One level up. So that's where you pop. And for all the other cases, you're actually considering stuff in the stack because what's gonna end what's gonna end up in your stack is mostly gonna be the directory names in this case. Right, so you're gonna append everything else, and at the end, after going through all these operations, you're gonna basically return, uh, starting with slash, just that stack dot joined by slash. Okay, so it's gonna give you all those items that have been that have been uh, that are now present in the stack after going through all these operations. Okay. So once again, go through all these scenarios uh, one by one and take a look at if, if it makes sense. And it's gonna make sense like more you go through this, more easier, much more easier it will get for you to understand the basic concept behind this problem. Okay, so hope uh, this was the solution. Hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.